Hi YouTube, this is Gare Grimsrud and I'm showing you my drop checker which measure, measures the CO2 level in my tank and it is pretty blue right now because I've been running out of I can tell the bubbles the CO2 was running out for my DIY system so uh, this morning I made a new batch and we'll show you the drop checker after it starts producing bubbles but um, there's my CO2 DIY um, four, about four cups of sugar, one package of yeast and that's about a gallon almost a gallon of water in there um, a little bit more than three quarters full so if that thing produces too many bubbles I might have to uh, empty out some of that but I want to show you the diffuser and if you see that line that's the CO2 gas trying to push its way into the diffuser and uh, you know if you sit here all day and watch it it'll go around the loop and then start producing bubbles but um, I have to get going here so when I come back this thing will be doing bubbles and uh, I'll show you my drop checker hopefully that'll stabilize it green or whatever um, and it's all the way on the other side. If I were to put the drop checker on this side, I would definitely get green. But since it's on this side, uh, it'll measure the CO2 levels on this in this on this side, which hopefully will mean the whole tank is getting a little bit of CO2. So, um, well. I'll make another video later. Hey guys, this is the drop checker after a couple days of the uh, CO2 running. And as you can see, it's pretty green, which means I think the pH is, H is like 7 or I don't know. All I know is that if it's green, it's the. Uh, CO2 is at a an appropriate level, so um, there it is. Um, all right, well, thanks for watching.